name is Mr. Bubbles and I'm back again for another routine breakdown. They are the 2020 NCAA National Champions. Today we'll be breaking down Stingray's Peach in the medium senior level 6 division. So if you have a team that you would like me to break down, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get to it. If you are waiting for me to do it, don't just wait, speak it into existence. Really quickly, before we start. If you've already watched everything on Netflix and Disney Plus, check out Fork and Rod, a cheerleading story. Cheerleading documentary about Cheer Force Infinity's tragic year last year. Part 1 is on this channel. Go ahead and give that a go. Forewarning, it is pretty heavy, but the ending is pretty beautiful. Back to the breakdown. They start out with six kick doubles. Nice high baskets. Double falls, pretty exciting opening. Moving on to the standing tumbling, which they throw seven standing falls plus one to the double out of it, which is pretty impressive, kind of like Ryan from Senior Elite. And then they throw 14 court wheel falls at the same time, all of them falling at the same time, which again, I don't know why they do this. This doesn't help their standing tumbling. It's actually a running tumbling pass, but the running tumbling pass doesn't even count, which it should. It don't even get me started. For as many people tumbling right there, the timing's pretty good. Then they throw 21 wonderfuls, really nail in the coffin. Couple layouts in there, those won't count towards the standing tumbling. Moving on to the elites, they do eight quarter turn switch ups to a body line, still just a level appropriate. And they do load of hard TikToks to bow and arrow. Not bad, pretty clean and solid. Easy, easy skill, but cleanly executed. They do two half turn food fronts, which go towards the pyramid score. Three of the flyers on the left tumble out to devils flyers that can tumble i like that versatile more standing tumbling they throw one three to four one three to dub two two to dubs one two to four six two to fours one two to whip double total of 40 standing tumbling elite level passes moving on to the elite they do a level two transition yes you can do that in level two and can't do this part though they do half turn versions release moves to two feet six of those are elite level and then they do seven one and a half ups to stretch, that's the lead. This ripple's pretty solid. There's a little bit of movement right there on the left. High to high, stretch to stretch, that is elite. Quarter turn, low to high, front stretch, that's just level appropriate. Easy scale, good timing though. And the Erebus, double down, just level appropriate. And then they do this level three or four downward inversion. Nothing impressive, just cool to look at. Jumps, blah, blah, blah. Arm placement bothers me a little bit right there on the head left. All a bit different. Running tumbling, they do three punch fronts through to full, one double, they do one punch front through to double with one straight double in there, one double, another double, one punch front through to double, two dubs with it, three doubles, and then one one and a half through to double. Good timing right there in those doubles. Inversion ups, oh, I didn't even notice those inversion ups. Pyramid, they do two front tuck to split transfer bases. That's pretty cool. I like that. I could watch that a couple more times. Four load of high TikToks to paper doll stretch. Two full transitions to cradle. Two one legged pancakes from extension. I like how that dissolved into nothing. Two round off hands being rebounds to flat back. Invert up to an immediate single braced front pull. Oh. Tommy's a little off those front falls, a little wonky. Two front ball falls split off into four pairs with four side semis, which I really like that. Both sides going in opposite directions. That's very pleasing. I like that. Don't see that too often. Then a straight up hit with a full down pop off to end the pyramid and they. Go on, boogie into the dance. Stingray's Peach throws 40 standing tumbling elite level passes, 19 running tumbling passes. In their elite, they throw four level appropriate and three elite level appropriate. Nothing overwhelming, nothing too crazy. And in the pyramid, they throw six level appropriate skills and they hit two times, which is nothing special either. Oh, and that is it. Pretty clean, not, not the hardest skills. cheer team one of their teammates didn't make it back from the competition he was hit and killed by a car in cabazon 10 news reporter laura acevedo spoke to the cheerleader's mother and his teammates who had to finish their competition without the owner here at cheer force san diego tells me that Ken James had just joined infinity's cheer team last june his teammates quickly fell in love with him and his spirit I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm in. And so as soon as I told him, he looked at me and he was like, okay, we're gonna do it. And he was in on it too? Yeah. Like my base was not going to really be there.
infinity is. I love them. Like they're all my own. They teach me. They make me laugh. They stress me out. They challenge me. I challenge them. And a lot of them have grown up with me. And I just, they are my kids and I love them because they are my kids and I would do anything for them.